Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Have you ever wondered what the top beauty trends in China are? Well, wonder no more, because Mashable has found and compiled a nice short list of the top beauty items available from Taobao, which is China's biggest online marketplace. This marketplace has it all at affordable prices, and it's the place to go for the trendiest beauty tools at a fraction of the cost. First up, you've got your eye balancing massager. Now, these things are supposed to help coax out one's double eyelids, and at 50 cents a pop, how do you not want to buy that? Also, what the f is double eyelids. What does that mean? Next up, there's a silicone nose clip. It's 30 cents and it basically holds your nose for when there's bad smells. According to Mashable, it hurts real bad when you have it on for too long. Fashion. Also, there's an anti-wrinkle and face slimming belt. It's only $2.50. According to Mashable's Alicia Tan, the belt did nothing. Absolutely nothing. I ordered 12. On top of the horrible rubber smell, the cutout for the chin is a one-size-fits-all kind of deal, which ends up giving you a butt chin if you don't fit. Also, the Velcro sucks. Wait, so why do people like this site? It sounds like most of these products are just junk. Regardless, if you want to look beautiful, stay frugal, and be the envy of all of your friends, maybe stay the hell away from Taobao. And in keeping with the theme of fun foreign stuff in the news, the Daily Mail has a piece from Hong Kong resident Mai Tran, who went to the new high-tech futuristic McDonald's Next restaurant. See what the big deal was. The reason for this big reinvention is because global sales of McDonald's foods are going way down. Why is that, you think? Could it be because of the fact that the food's real f***ing bad for you? It's killing people. People are dying. In any case, the new McDonald's next restaurant features made-to-order burgers, a deli-style salad bar, gourmet coffees, and fresh pastries. Mm. There's also high-tech touchscreen kiosks, which isn't actually new. Gone are the creepy clown and bright yellow and red color schemes of your local McDonald's. Instead, this location is muted and clean. Think in the Apple Store and McDonald's had sex and made a baby. Salad bar features 19 different ingredients and sauces, but apparently was pretty underwhelming in the flavor department. One of the biggest draws to this new McDonald's is the fact that you can order a Big Mac with a side of quinoa. How delightfully hip, huh? But the prices of these new gourmet sides and burgers didn't really delight. For the health conscious, there's grilled or roasted veggie options with asparagus and sweet potato cubes as topping options. You can also have your burger patties cooked with as little oil as possible. But according to the article, the health conscious burgers tasted bland, dry, Disappointing and tasteless. So, what's the final verdict? Uninspiring. The healthier slash cleaner side of McDonald's may not have been a hit with that reviewer, but maybe others will like it. I don't know. Look, at the end of the day, you're not going to McDonald's to have like an asparagus sandwich. You're there to get the delicious cocaine laced golden french fries. Get bread and your pee smells weird later. <laughs> and finally, in actual important news, manatees are no longer endangered. Oh, that's awesome. There is now a 500% population increase in the cows of the sea, and that's amazing. Back in 1991, there was a real danger we'd lose these beautiful, majestic creatures altogether due to fatal collisions with boats in Florida and other dumb that humans do. Now, just because they're no longer endangered doesn't mean all is fine and good. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced a downgrade from endangered to threatened. Now, a spokesperson for the Department of the Interior said there's still more work to be done to fully recover manatee populations, but their numbers are climbing. Manatee populations were at a serious low back in 91 with only around 1,267. Now there's 6,300 in the state and 13,000 overall. Although this is great news, the service says protections for manatees won't actually change with down listing. Unfortunately, the agencies will be lucky if they can manage to hang on to existing protections for years to come. And also, according to one service official, the status change comes as more of a political move to show that there's at least some progress. The agency's director is quoted as saying he sees a giant clash between those who favor conservation and those who favor economic development. Isn't that the age-old problem there? So, as you can see, there's still a lot of work to do to help save this species. And if you'd like to help or at least check out some research on the matter, check out savethemanatee.org for more info. So, what are your thoughts, guys? Into Chinese beauty products? You think McDonald's new high-tech restaurant is the future for the fast food giant? And what are your thoughts on how to help save threatened species like the manatee? Let us know in the comments. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Thanks for watching. Do you want it? On oh, my ass. What is happening? <laughs> I wouldn't have fallen without getting his dick caught in my mouth because I love Kanye a lot.